400 meters freestyle, the longest of our races today. And this is where the Malaysians, you will hear in a while, they're going to go nuts because the Sarawak sub is going to make his appearance. Wilson Wee, this boy has just been getting stronger and better since his SEA Games win in Singapore in 2015. Singapore's hopes go with Pang Sheng Jin who last year won in the ASEAN University Games. There he is, just to the right of your screen. Russell has done really well this year. I think this is his race to lose. Um, but if he's in as good a form as he's been all year, um, you know, I, I think he's going to really take it out. It's not going to be a contest, close contest. But again, with the SEA Games, with the pressure, with the home crowd, it's how he picks in all, all, all the atmosphere and makes it either to his advantage or, you know, he crumbles under pressure. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, I think this is really his race to lose. Well, he has been in that sort of form, not just this year, but for the last couple of years. Wilson Sim was the fastest qualifier this morning. The only one to get below 3.59. Putra Randa of Indonesia swims in lane number one for all 3.30, the qualifying mark. Tanaka Kitia of Thailand was first in this event at the 2015 Asian Age Group Champs two years ago. Pang Sheng Jun of Singapore doesn't have an individual gold medal yet, just a silver and a bronze. He's in three. Here are the cheers of the defending champion Wilson Sim, the last person to win two in a row in this event was Tolap Setsaton back in 1997. He is trying to end that 20-year streak. Afla Prawira of Indonesia has clocked very impressive times, including a national record this year. Nguyen Hu Kim Son, watch for this boy when it comes for the 1,500 meters freestyle race. Defending silver medalist Jesse Kung Lakuna swims in lane number seven. And Malaysia's Yap Zhang Yang, who was second to Wilson at the National Championships from Solano, he is in lane number eight. There is the SEA Games record, 353.97. I can tell you that Wilson this year has gone below 350 already. He's the only Southeast Asian to go below that 350 mark. Afla and Gang will have their hands filled. Afla's national record, 355.38, which he clocked. And finishing second at the Islamic Solidarity Games just a couple of months ago. Well, Gerald, this is one of those races where you can say the words, the battle is on for silver. I, I would say so, I think so. It'll be interesting to see what kind of um, strategy Wilson goes out with. Um, but he looks like he's taking it out. Um, a lot of times, typically you might see for the corner meters, swimmers would swimmers who are swimming to win they typically hold back and they, and they wait for the last hundred before they make their move but obviously i think from just from this first 50 you can see that wilson's going out there he wants to break the record do a best time well his personal best this year and national record 349 48 which he clocked in monte carlo he won that event and actually beat the olympic champion mac horton and winning that event so it's also with a crowd behind you, you're so pumped up, the moment you get into the pool, all you want to do is just kick on. And that he has done because he's already taken a 1.40 seconds lead. That's a, a huge lead for just a quarter of a 400 meter freestyle race. It is, it is. Um, you know, you don't see many swimmers do this in a 400 meter, um, taking it out hard, but obviously I think he's had the training, he knows how to execute his race, so you know, I, I don't think it's a case of him, you know, going out too hard, so we'll see how he does in the next few laps, but I think he's looking very, very good, looking very strong, doesn't look like he's um, going out too fast at this point. You usually don't see much splashes from the legs around right about this point in uh, events like this, but already with Wilson, he's engaging his legs very early on. He's slated for three events at the EC Games, the 200, uh, 400 and 1500 meters freestyle, and this boy has looked up to in supreme form because after the sea games what he did was just to qualify for the olympic games in a qualifying time he went there clocked a personal best time and then this year those times just got lower and lower culminating with that 349 48 that he clocked in monte carlo 
Yes, he did. I mean, look look at Sun Jin. I hope Sun Jin comes back. Sun Jin is um, swimming in lane three. I mean, he's typically known for coming back faster in the second half. Negative, negative split his uh, races. So, I mean, he hasn't... Hopefully, we see that in the second half of this race because he hasn't got out that quick um, in the first half so far. Wilson Swim is swimming against the clock. The rest of them are swimming for the silver medal because there's no touching the Malaysian who's extended his lead to 2.45 seconds now over Nguyen and Prawira and then Shenzhen turns in fourth spot. Pang Shenzhen trying to stay in the map of relevancy in this race which is totally dominated by Malaysia's Wilson Sim. He won the Singapore National Age Group Champs by three seconds. He won the Malaysian Open by four seconds. And if he swims true to form, he might be winning this by that same amount of margin too as he goes into the final 100 meters. Wilson looks like he's struggling a little bit. I mean, going into that into that wall, um, you know, we've always been taught as swimmers never to breathe too many times going into the wall. And we saw that he was breathing almost every single stroke for three strokes going into the wall, out of the wall. The first three strokes as well, he took a breath at every single stroke. So, you know, I think he's, he's feeling, feeling the pain a little bit right now. But he's still looking extremely strong. Yeah, it's all the adrenaline, isn't it, for the first 100 meters. And now it's slowly catching up, but he's built an almost unassailable lead. And look at Peng Sheng Jun coming back as well for silver medal, because that was a superb turn for him. And he's turning on the afterburners in the final 50 meters just to try to clinch silver. But it will be Malaysia's first gold medal in swimming at these games. Wilson Sim will clinch goal. There is a magnificent battle going on, almost stroke for stroke for silver medal. The time is 3.50.26. He fails to crack the 3.50 mark, but it's a new SEA Games record. And I think Aflaf Indonesia finishes in second spot. Nguyen Hu Kim Son will be a real big name to watch out for over the years in Southeast Asia finishing just ahead of Peng Sheng Jin for third but Wilson Wee we expected this and he has delivered for his home crowd for Malaysia a mighty mighty quick time and he has totally annihilated this field in the 400 meters freestyle amazing swim by Wilson um, I guess he's, he's gotten that first goal from Malaysia hopefully I mean for the next few races, I think a 200 meter freestyle and a 1,005, we'll see how he does. But I think a 200 meter race is going to be extremely exciting. Absolutely, Gerald. And I mean, in front of your home fans, we saw that at the 2014 Asian Games as well, you know, that Park Taiwan debacle when you were swimming in front of his home fans. It sometimes can, not, can be working against you because of all the adrenaline. And it's so good that you get the first race out of the way and you won it as well. Exactly. Um, I, I think it's so important that he's, he's got, got, got to that first goal. He's going to have a lot less pressure on the 200 and 1,005. Um, but, you know, knowing, knowing the person that Rick Wilson is, you know, I think he's going to want to go out there and not just win races, but to try and break the SEA Games record as well. I know for the 1,005, I think he's, he wants to break Jeffrey Young's um, long, very long-standing um, national record. It's uh, the person who finishes third in this event, who finished third in this event, when Hu Kim Son will have a lot to say in terms of Wilson winning the triple. And maybe another Vietnamese, Wong Ki Phok, will have uh, something to say as well with Wilson winning the 200 meters freestyle. But this boy is only, what, 20, 21 years of age, so there's still a lot of good swimming left in him. A lot of good swimming left. Um, I, I mean, given at that age, right? I mean, you could see him maybe could come on and, and onto the world stage as well in the next Olympics. Well, we certainly hope that. Uh, we've waited for a swimmer at least to qualify for the semi-finals of an Olympic Games since Alex Lim did so for them in 2004. They haven't had that for a long, long time now, Malaysia. But Wilson Sim has given them a lot of hope. And that, by the way, Wilson Sim's victory is five in a row that Malaysia have won in this event. The last four games before this, all won by a Malaysian swimmer. And it's the longest streak since Singapore won it from 1965 to 1973. But uh, the way that he is going, he probably 